Hello friends, uh, I am Parviz and this is our 18th video in PyQtf5 GUI programming. Uh, in the last video we have uh, covered uh, HBox layouts, VBox layouts and group boxes in PyQtf5. Uh, this example is from the previous video. Uh, in this and in this video we are going to cover uh, grid layouts in PyQtf5. Okay, now let's get started. Uh, the first thing you need, you should make a new Python file. Uh, I call it uh, grid layout like this. And like previous videos, I copy my window code and paste it in my grid layout. Now, if let me, the first thing I change the Title to PyQt5 grid layout like this. Now, if I run this, I should see a nice window. Yeah, PyQt5 grid layout. Okay, uh, now we are defining a new method in here for our grid layout. Uh, define grid layout creation, I call it. Uh, now in here the first thing you need uh, I should make a group box in here self dot group box uh, and one important issue we need some imports in here I forgot it uh, the first thing you need a uh, queue dialog uh, you need a queue grid layout you need a queue group box and also you need a Q push button like this and also change this Q main window to Q dialog now in here uh, Q group box and in here we give it a grid layout example now we are making a grid layout uh, grid layout Q grid layout after that we are going to make some uh, push buttons take your grid layout dot add widget Q push button <coughs> basically uh, what's a grid layout uh, a grid layout divide our window space uh, into row and columns uh, now you can see that in here I give a name to my push button I give it one and I specify the row and column number I want to give the row 0 and the column 1 the column also 0 now I want to add another push button uh, Q push sorry Q push button, I name it uh, 2 and for this I give the row to 0 and the column to 1 another button uh, Q push button the button name is 3 I give the row to 0 and the column to 2 now I'm going to make another button dot add widget Q push button uh, 4 okay now give your uh, row number 1 and column 0 make another grid layout dot add widget uh, Q push button I give it 5 uh, give the row to one and the column to one. Grid layout dot add widget. Q push button. I give it six. Uh, row one and column two. Okay. Now, in here, the last thing that we are going to do in this uh, method, uh, we are going to uh, set our this grid layout to our group box. Uh, you can simply write self dot group box dot set layout 
and grid layout like this now in your init window in this section uh, in this section we are uh, and in here the first thing you need you should call your grid layout method like this and uh, uh, after that we are going to make a vertical box layout v box layout oh mm, i forgot to add v box layout let me add this also qv box layout sorry q push button qv box layout like this okay now in here we are making a v box layout or vertical box layout and uh, uh, take your v box layout and we are adding our group box to our uh, v box layout self dot group box like this and the last thing you want to set your ver uh, vertical box layout set layout and v box layout okay this was our coding section you can check from the top and like this okay now i want to run this yeah you can see that we have a, a grid layout example and one two three you can see that it divided to a uh, row and column if I bring my code you can see that we have uh, the first uh, this is the first row this is the second row and we have two rows in here and uh, three columns zero eight columns uh, first one column and the third one column uh, okay thank you guys this was our 18th video uh, and uh, please like the videos and also please uh, subscribe my channel for the further videos.